Yo, this episode was fire. Detective Carter, get your crew under control. They are so irresponsible. They are already crooked. They are doing whatever, whenever, to whoever. They're already reckless, so they don't even know how to reel it in. They are going to get somebody unalive, but you know what? Nobody cares. And the fact that they're supposed to do certain things, even Detective Carter tells them to do, but because they go off and do their own thing so bad and they have so much control, they are all the way left. And I really don't like that female detective so much so I'm not taking the time to get to know her name because she's got to go, please. And truth be told, I think that's going to be Diana's first body because I want her. And I'm, I'm like the innocent civilian and I want her gone. Like, no questions asked. This episode had me in my feelings. We got so much to talk about. Let's go. It starts off with Drew taking pictures of Carter because his mother was like, you got to get on him. So he's taking pictures thinking he's all slick and stuff. He takes his eye off of it for two seconds because Monet is calling him and texting him and stuff like that. And she's like, what's going on? He's like, ain't nothing going on. He's just shaking down and stuff like that. Next thing you know, he get a text from Carter talking about stop following me. And then he looks, Carter's right directly behind him looking dead at him. Drew is like, I got found out. So Detective Carter is pissed off. Everybody's calling Monet. Monet is sitting there baby shopping like the happy family that she is with Diana. And they're like, yes, we got this and that and this. So Diana and grandma is running around getting cute little baby stuff. Triggering this episode. Monet thinks she's her own voice. And she is just ignoring, ignoring, ignoring the phone calls. So Drew gets in the house and he's like, yo. Yeah, baby shopping. I'm sitting here busting my behind. Listen, I just got caught by Detective Carter. We're not thinking nothing of it. We're not even thinking he's moving so fast. All of a sudden, Diana's talking. I see stuff moving in the background. I was like, yo, they come in her house. They come in her house. Detective Carter's tired ass crew. Like it's a raid. Well, it was a raid. And Detective Carter comes in. Now Monet is trying to use the phone and stuff like that. He was like, oh, I didn't know you know how to use the phone because I've been calling you. I was like, this dude is so disrespectful, aggressive, but smart. I don't like it. I don't even see Michael Ely in him. I see Detective Carter. He is a phenomenal actor. Because he, he he's gone. Like, any trace of Michael Ely is not in this guy. I see all of Detective Carter's pain, arrogance, and disorders. They take Drew and they're like, yo, we got a job for you. So they take Drew out and Diana's in there with that female damn cop. And she's sitting there taking all her baby gifts like, oh, thanks. Like, I don't like her. Like, I almost don't like her as much as I didn't like Joffrey in Games of Thrones. And that's a serious situation. And if y'all didn't know, go watch Game of Thrones because it is, that is a crazy show. So Noma's sitting in there making a deal, thinking her life is about to be sweeter with the guy that's supposed to get her government programs funded zion busts in and start letting bullets off he takes out an innocent bystander slash the guy that was hooking noma up kane is sitting there shocked noma takes her money back like uh, well no deal and they get the hell out of there noma is fuming i'd be fuming too because now you just made me hot like for no reason she blames Kane and she blames Kane because he didn't handle the situation. He just made it worse because Zion is gunning for him. <laughs> the pun. Literally, Detective Carter calls Zion and is like, what are you doing, guy? You are all over the place. You are hot. Um, and Zion is like, you got to put me away for protection and I'm not doing nothing for you. You're going to have to take care of me or I'm going to tell on you guys. Yo, tell is like... Yo, do not threaten Detective Carter and his crew ever about telling. He's like, oh, OK, I'm going to give you the safe house. Like, I'm supposed to protect you. And you just told me you're going to rat on me like this don't work that way. So he tells the detective on his team, take him out. She gets a call from Internal Affairs in the middle of going there and she can't handle the situation. Go figure. 
So instead, she gives it off to Diana. And I'm like, you don't even know Diana. Diana is not who you think she is. She has never done nothing like this at all. She's like, listen, you're going to take care of Zion. Then you want her to take care of a bully like Zion. So Diana is distraught and don't know what to do. So she runs to Tyreek. And she's like, Tyreek, I need to trust you. And it's like, the way he has her back is just uncanny. He just, I got you. And he really does go to bat for Diana. I'm like, wow. The baby's not even here for it. And he is a straight ride or die. He's like, don't even worry about it. I got it. He's sitting there he's like a genius. He's looping all of this into one because he's told by Davis, his lawyer, that Zion got a lot of issues right now. And he got a lot of enemies, including Noma. And he's like, you know what? I need a new connect. And I'm trying to get rid of Zion because Zion is unstable and he's out of control. So they're like, okay. He's like, he... He makes a deal with Noma that he will take out Zion for her and that way he could be back in. Kane is so upset and Kane never have a say. He just be like, he be looking from Noma to the conversation and he could never get off how he feels because nobody cares about his opinions in the situation. Two bosses are talking, Kane. Pay attention. You know I like Kane though, but I'm just saying. I'm being honest. Meanwhile, Kane is trying to get info that is actually Zion, but everybody's like two steps ahead of him already. Monet goes to see Kane and was like, yo, stay away from Noma right now because everything is hot. So he's putting two and three together and he's realizing that, you know what, Monet might have had something to do with taking the stash. Effie goes over to Noma and Noma tells Effie to see if the Russians still want to deal with her. So Effie goes over there too. At the same time, Detective Carter will not leave Monet alone. So she's like, listen, the packages was going to the Russians. That's all I know. But let's talk about Effie really quick. She is having a horrible day because she just found out the love of her life got somebody else knocked up and he is definitely all the way caring for Diana. She just lashes out and she's just like, Diana, I hope you take that baby out. And I was like, oh, but you see the hurt in her face. She is not having a good day. And then she gets to the Russians the same time Detective Carter gets there and it is shots being wrung out like crazy she gets through billy with her life her package that she had to give to the russians is gone and she's home crying she's home crying. now the thing is i'm trying to figure out if she's crying for tyreek or she's crying because she almost got her life done off i actually felt bad for effie this episode she was actually trying to lay low and everything was just hitting her like everybody that was innocent no nobody's innocent in here Let, let's be real but anybody that was like kind of laying low was getting hit like Back to the Diana situation. Tyreek said he's going to take care of it. He finally takes care of it. The detective is so pissed off the female. Oh, no, you were supposed to do it. She's like, I got it done. She's like, you you compromised us. I might be in trouble. You might be in trouble. And she's so abusive. She just takes it out on Diana and her unborn. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you, I think we had... Four unalivings this episode. Yo, this episode was a lot. I didn't even get started with Drew. Detective Carter temporarily put Drew in jail so he could take out somebody that they needed him to take out. And in the mix of it, he finds out somebody may be snitching on him in jail. Drew don't know how he's going to take this guy out. But then I guess it dawns on him. He's in the infirmary. He needs to get to infirmary. So he starts a fight. He gets beat up really bad so that he gets to the infirmary. He wakes up. He takes the guy out in the infirmary when nobody's looking. And then he lays back in there. So he did his job. Now, Diana, she got Tyreek to do her job and she pays for it. Like, I do not like that detective. I know she's gone. Yes. Yes, Diana, you have to be the one to do it. I guess we know why she got that all black on now, because I would definitely be coming after her. Brayden can't even stand still. He is messing up on stage like I. Whew. He needs to go to N.A. Narcotics Anonymous, please. Yo, and Tyreek is going to go get him to take out Zion? I'm like, yo, it's like dead presidents. I don't trust somebody getting high. And then I felt like I was watching an episode of Blade. I'm like, they get there and Zion is sharp as heck. I guess that's that fighting instincts. As soon as Tyreek gets there and put the weapon to the door, Zion is able to close the door on it, knock it out of Tyreek's hand. Brayden tries to help Tyreek fighting off Zion. He pushes him through the wall. I felt like I was watching Blade. 
they got the effects in the show going on. And trust me, the show was way more exciting than I'm making it seem right now. It's just that everything was all over the place and everything was going on. This was a serious episode. It was good to come back to. It made me think, I haven't been watching nothing in the last five weeks. These jealous bitches. Noma is jealous. Effie is jealous. Kane is like, listen, let me go check on Effie. He's been dying to get to Effie all day, but no one been trying to like... You got stuff to do, Kane. You can't go. You can't go. At the end, when no one tells Kane that Effie got in the crosshairs of the Russians, Kane is like, listen, let me go see her. And no one goes, tell her I said hi, love. And Kane is like, I, I don't even care. So he goes to Effie and he checks on her. Like, that is his situation. He is only with Noma because he wants power and stuff like that. That is straight business. He do not give two rats ass about Noma. Detective Carter, he needs an award. He is up there with the most hated in power. No, I think the female, but Detective Carter is, he's definitely threatening. Detective Kamor goes to the wrong guy. Yo, I think we got crooked cops and he goes into detail and I did this and I did that. And I'm like, why is he telling this guy that? You got to watch. He should have made sure that he was not crooked first. Detective Carter took your boy out. So now, yes, we are going to see Tate coming in. And of course, he's going to have an assignment for Tyreek. Listen, this episode was, I give it a 10. 10 all the way. All the way. We are doing this. Anyway, I am Amina Seen It. Like, comment, and subscribe. I think I got to watch it again. And if you haven't watched it, get to it. Get to it. And this wasn't my attitude. Like, I, I, y'all know Raising Canaan is my favorite series, but Ghost Power Book 2 came through swinging this episode. They are, this should have been the, the series midway break, but this was everything. This was. I haven't had so much action in a while. I think I'm just deprived. Anyway, I mean, I've seen it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yo, let's party down in the chat.